third gen Toyota Tacoma. And soon enough, it's gonna be gone. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five reasons to buy it before it's too late. The engine, this is a 3.5 liter V6 engine, putting out 278 horsepower and 265 foot pound of torque. Now the numbers, they're not all that great, but let me show you something inside the engine bay that I think you'll like. That's naturally aspirated glory. No turbos. I think we can all agree, we buy Toyotas for the longevity and the reliability. And when it comes to turbos, no matter who you are, it's gonna end up going. These trucks easily get 500,000 miles without any issues, at least any major issues. And when you stick a nice little turbo in there with the smaller engine, producing more power, well, boom goes the dynamite. If you like your engines bigger, and naturally aspirated, we got a V6 waiting for you. And by we, I mean a Toyota dealership that uh, sells trucks. I actually am not selling my truck. This thing right here is called a shifter. Now, if you're a real man, you drive a stick, but if you're a city gal like me, you get an automatic. For this example, imagine that this was not automatic and this was stick shift. The redesigned Toyota Tacoma will be automatic and only automatic. So if you're old school and you like to roll your gears, you gotta say goodbye to it or before it's too late, buy a third gen. It really sounds like I'm trying to get you to buy a Toyota Tacoma. Number three is they hold their value insanely well. And especially once they get rid of the V6 and get rid of the manual, everyone's gonna want it. And that means the value is gonna go up, which means I should probably sell this one and get a V6 manual. Nah. Through these crazy times that we all just experienced, the Toyota Tacoma has held its value extremely well. Imagine once the redesign comes out, a V6 with a manual, or a four cylinder with an automatic. I understand this is where the wave is going, but I don't think it's gonna hold its value like this beast right here. Number four is reliability, but not the one that you're thinking of. Let me explain. I talked about this in my 15,000 mile review. I like how everything in here just works. And the problem is Toyota is chasing gadgets and gizmos. In Virginia, it gets super cold, but it also gets super hot. And if I need to have my super big gloves on, all of these knobs right here, I can still use them. I can turn my traction control off or I can launch a jellyfish if I need to. With that being said, what happens when all of this is gone and it's changed out for one big screen? My gloves are gonna be useless because I can't use them on a touch screen. What happens if the screen just goes black and you're out camping? I'm not too crazy about it, but we'll see what happens. Also up here, our speedometer is still analog, which I absolutely love. I can't imagine what one of those fancy head units is gonna cost if it does go out. And of course, with my luck, I'm gonna be right outside that warranty period wishing that I had kept my third gen. And last but not least, we haven't even seen the dang truck. What if it's ugly? In my opinion, this is the best looking Toyota Tacoma ever made. When the first gen was out, it was a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. When the second gen was out, it was a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. When this thing came out, it was mean, it was aggressive, it was wide, it looked very attractive. And now it has a whole culture around it, hence that's why I'm making the video and that's why you're watching. And if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. That hurt. I don't know why I did that. I'm starting to realize it sounds like I'm trying to make money off of this.